Cinco de Mayo is right around the corner and I've got a great Mexican chicken and rice dish that you can make all in one pan and an awesome margarita shaken and stirred. Let's get cooking with style. The great thing about this Mexican chicken and rice dish is all the spices are in your cabinet. Well, maybe not the ancho chili, but we've got paprika, salt, pepper, ancho chili, and garlic. And what we're gonna do is mix that up just a little bit like that. And then we're just gonna take it and put half of it into a mixing bowl because we wanna save half for the spicing of the rice. To this, a little bit of lime juice, about a tablespoon of olive oil. We'll mix that up for our marinade. And then we're gonna take our chicken and I'm using thighs here because this is a, a really flavorful. We're gonna put it skin side down and we're gonna toss these in there and we'll set this in the refrigerator for about an hour to let everything marinate. You could do it for up to, say, two to four hours if you want. And then this is what your chicken will look like through the magic of television. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start browning this up. Another tablespoon of olive oil will go in my fry pan and we're gonna do everything in this pan. So don't worry about the drippings and everything. We're gonna do skin side down. I'm gonna sear this for about three or four minutes. Been about three or four minutes on the skin side. We're gonna flip it over to the flesh side and we're gonna let that char up just a little bit and then we're ready to put the rice in. So it's been about two minutes on the flesh side. Now we're gonna put in, right with that fat, the onions and the bell peppers and we'll saute these for just about two minutes. The next step, we put in our rice and we're gonna throw the garlic in. And we're putting the garlic in here towards the end because we don't want it to brown, we just want it to soften up. The rice will saute in here for just about another minute. All right, we've got the rice in here on a medium high heat. I'm gonna put my chicken stock in, diced tomatoes, and black beans. I'm gonna give this a little toss around, just enough to mix everything in there. And what we're gonna do here, because this is on a medium high heat, we're gonna let this kind of come up to a simmer. I'm gonna place my chicken skin side up back into the pan and make sure you get all those juices in there. And then this is going to go into a 400 degree oven for about 25 minutes. So while that Mexican chicken and rice is cooking, let's get ourselves a little margarita going here. I've rimmed the glass with a little bit of lime. This is tahine, it's a, a Mexican spice. And we're gonna make this in this size glass, so we do it in a second glass. We've got our tequila, I'm using white tequila. This is a little bit of Cointreau. And then we've got our lime juice. And then we're gonna take a little bit of agave syrup instead of simple syrup. And I will tell you this, if you're gonna shake this at home, make sure this is cold because if it's not, it'll stick like that. Take this, throw it in our glass so it's shaken, and then to just give this a little bit more length because that's a pretty large drink, we'll put a little bit of Pellegrino on top so it's shaken and stirred. That is so refreshing, and that'll get you through the whole meal. We'll go check on the chicken in just a minute. It's been about 15 minutes, so what I wanna do now is take my lid off, and at this point you can kinda of check to see how things are going. Take a little bit of that seasoning, sprinkle it over the top. We're gonna to slide this back in, and now the skin will crisp up. All right, the skin on top is nice and crispy. Let's get this ready and serve it up. Some beautiful chicken and rice. We'll move a little bit of that out of the way, get a nice scoop of our rice and black beans and tomatoes. Take a nice little thigh, put that on top. Let's garnish this up a little bit. I kinda like to have a little bit of jalapenos on top. Sprinkle a little bit of that cilantro around there and just in case anyone wants a little bit more lime. There you go. That is a Cinco de Mayo feast, uh, some flour tortillas, uh, Mexican chicken and rice. 
super delicious and super easy casual elegance here on Cooking with Styles. Go to our website, cbsa.com slash recipes. Have a great Cinco de Mayo.